understand you need to take we care. Who are not part of the union movement to the front of the building here. There are scuffles happening between uh, police, it seems, or others there at the front. Uh, but this is absolutely now a standoff, and you have police again armed with these uh, with these weapons that they used a couple of protests ago, firing rubber bullets into the crowd. They are pointing those at the crowd. I'm not sure if Ollie, you're getting that yelling at the crowd, trying to have them uh, move away. We're but let me tell you, police that. let. Police let this happen, Mike, for hours today. This gathering got bigger and bigger. They did something very different to Richmond where they moved in hard and fast. And today they let this happen for six hours or so, seven hours, seven hours now. Uh, and, and so the result is that this group has become bigger and bigger and police, for whatever reason, have moved in now. And I suspect it's because uh, whatever, whatever happened that saw people moving towards the front of the building and smashing it has been been the catalyst for police to come in to uh, Richmond, but they may well be uh, union members. There may be agitators here, but it seems to me that most of them are dressed like tradies. A lot of them are in high vis and shorts and work boots, uh, but there's no indication to, and someone's insisting here, they are all union members. Um, uh, but but it is, it's, it's hard to tell, but it, it certainly feels like there's a real connection with their anger to this union. It doesn't, for hours they were peaceful. For hours they were chanting, they certainly were weren't happy to see John Setka, but they were standing there at times in silence. Um, and so, so and, and, and someone's here, someone here is shouting that they are, they're shouting for their families and their kids because they feel like if they don't get the jab before Friday, they simply won't be able to work in the construction industry uh, beyond that. Yeah, we, Paula, we see. It's just more, uh, more milling around, I guess. Um, you've got them, you've got them broken off into multiple parts here now. So you have, um, and it's right across uh, the the width, the full width now of uh, Elizabeth Street. The full width is now blocked with protesters one side, and on our side are uh, police. Um, and it, it, the police have certainly advanced a distance, but they're not yet, or they're just at the getting towards, they're just beyond the entrance of the uh, of the CFMEU building there. So the hoses there have stopped. 50 people, yeah, man. 50 people? Someone's telling me. So, someone's trying to tell me how many people are here. And this is the one thing the media or anyone trying to, to get in that I've seen. But again, you've had people in the building who were, uh, you know, being spray, spraying water out. So this is the police are now advancing again towards the group that is now almost at Victoria Street. Uh, the traffic actually seems to still be moving on Victoria Street, but the the, the larger group now is uh, is further down and being pushed along Elizabeth Street towards. Victoria Street by that line of police. Again, police there still. I can see them with their those weapons out that are firing the uh, the rubber bullets, and still items and bottles are being thrown. I'm hearing them smash on the road, and police are spreading out here. Remarkably, bizarrely, as that is happening, traffic is actually still coming up one lane here of um, Elizabeth Street. Around here you can see these are the items that were being...